Hi guys, thanks for taking the 4 minutes and 39 seconds to watch this video. Um, what I did here was is a cleanup for a drawing. This was for an auction piece that hasn't actually happened yet um, for the Rocketeer. So they wanted me to do my interpretation of the Rocketeer. So this is my version. So what you're seeing here as I'm drawing super duper quick, because that's how fast I can really draw and clean up, um, is just doing an overlay for my drawing. So underneath, you actually see my drawing. And what it was, was my rough sketch. It was my thought process. It was tightened up a bit. I've just clicked off of the image, just so that I can see where I'm going. So my process is to have my rough drawing that I printed out on eight and a half by 11 paper, which is underneath this drawing. And then I took just a regular pencil and taking that regular pencil, and then I start to correct my lines. So I'm not tracing the drawing that's underneath that's the big thing you never really tracing your actual line until you almost get to this point and even then I'm still making certain adjustments the pen that I'm using right there is called a Faber Castle pit artist pen and what I like about it it's black it's waterproof and it's India ink the thing that I dislike about it is that it frays really really easily so you can only get a few good cleanups out of it at a time so quite often now I use a brush pen called a Mars Stadler graphic 3000 duo that's got a foam tip and it seems to last a lot longer although it's not waterproof so as I have this on my animation desk my my process is to pull my line towards me and I don't want to pull away from me just because my line can start to get jagged so this is a real important thing to get my line I start to pull it slowly towards me and gradually I build up my line now I've switched over to my micron pens and that I use just different sets I have all different sizes and what you saw me doing earlier was just testing out my pen just to see that I was getting the right sort of ink flow going with it. So the real idea is from starting with my brush pen, I'll build up my thicker lines and then I can come back with my Micron, which is also um, waterproof. A lot of them, I, I, I believe they are, yeah. And um, although I wasn't going to color this and it also I like the ink, it's nice and dark. So I'm trying to find colors that the ink that's consistent and dark with each other and now I'm just slowly touching up and building you can see me switching back and forth between my pens it doesn't always have to be done all in one go now I've switched back to my other pen so this is really how you treat it it's a delicate situation everyone has their own way of doing cleanup this happens to be mine. It's very important that you hold down your paper too when you're doing erasing. Now I'm erasing, I'm just using one of those kneaded erasers just because that's getting rid of all my pencil line underneath. And the most important thing, lesson I've learned, is when you're erasing and cleaning up your pencil line, you want to make sure you're holding your paper down. Because if you don't, that's where you kind of buckle your paper and you ruin a whole drawing. And that's happened to me well enough times to where I learned my lesson uh, really quick so I don't do that. Now what I've done I'm just grabbing an acrylic paint and I was just doing a quick little test of my paint off the side and make sure it was working and I just wanted my paint to be really rough and you know loose looking I didn't I wasn't looking for a real perfect uh, paint job on here because I was just gonna be coloring in the circle and I'm just using a like a raw sienna color for this and just putting it in the background and the reason I did that was just so that I could pop the drawing out I'm you have to make choices here are you going to color the whole piece or just do one particular piece so this is what I did uh, for this so this is just a nice heavy stock paper that I was using uh, just Bristol board actually and this is the process I go through for my cleanup so I hope you enjoyed watching uh, feel free to follow me on Facebook um, Stephen Silver and I post a lot of my videos and all additional content on there